Welcome everyone. Who is your future spouse? Who will you marry? You may be asking yourself this question, who will I marry? Who will my future spouse be? And so today we're going to look into what this may look like, who this person is, and the circumstances surrounding your meeting and how the relationship develops and any other traits that may come through. So option one, actually I'm going to zoom in. Option one on the left we have inner peace, option two healing chaos, and option three on the right leadership. Take a deep breath. And exhale. Timestamps are in the description box. If you need more time to choose, you can pause the video now. See you at your option. Welcome everyone who chose this beautiful card. This beautiful artwork with the koi fish. Inner peace. Maybe that's something you're um, feeling or something you want to achieve or the kind of relationship. You're looking for peace in a relationship. Someone who could swim alongside you. Someone with whom you can explore the depths of your emotions. I feel like you're someone who does have a lot to give. Um, whatever you have to give, it's not necessarily always at the surface. And you want someone who can go as deeply as you can in terms of emotions, or at least someone you can feel like you can trust and be vulnerable with and have a deep, meaningful relationship with. Um, someone here could have strong Pisces in their chart, doesn't have to be the case, but ultimately you're looking for peace. There could be a connection here to Japanese gardens or lakes, ponds, uh, anything to do with fish. Um, Japan, possibly. Okay. Inner peace. So, who is this person that you're going to marry? Who is your future spouse? We have, how teachable are you? The number nine could be relevant. So, Okay, here's what I'm picking up already. This person may play a musical instrument, but it doesn't have to be the case. Um, this is someone, look, if you're looking for depth in a relationship, you're definitely going to get that depth in this relationship. This is someone who is at the end of a cycle in their life currently. And this person, when you meet, will be wondering how teachable are you, meaning how flexible, how adaptable, how adjustable, how willing to learn about relationships, to learn about each other, and how willing are you to grow within a relationship and allow yourself to evolve by allowing, it's almost like this person's going to teach you something, and you're going to teach this person something, and this person's wondering how willing you are to actually learn and evolve through learning, basically. This is someone who really places a lot of value on learning and growing and evolving. And to this person, it's important for them to know that you are curious about them, that you want to learn about them, that you are interested enough in them to really, and, and the relationship to really um, value what's important to them as well. So this person is looking for someone who is selfless. This is someone who is selfless, I feel, and they're looking for someone who is on that level. Destroyer, okay. So with this one, I'm feeling, um, I'm feeling Uranus energy. I'm feeling like Tower energy. This is going to be, first of all, this is someone who is going to destroy your previous belief system or the way you used to look at life, um, certain crystallized concepts and notions and ideas that you had. Um, this is, it's like a, when you and this person get married or come together, 
it's going to have you preparing for a whole new life. Um, and you will have to release something that is potentially destructive to yourself and this relationship. This is definitely someone who is constantly evolving, and this is definitely someone who expects the person they're with to really rid themselves of toxicity, addictions, um, codependencies. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling here. And with the volcano here, I have to say this, the relationship between the two of you is definitely going to be very passionate. And I feel this, this person, this relationship is going to bring out that fire within you, that passion that maybe you have been lacking or that has been lying dormant within you. And I feel you're going to do the same for this person. Um, and I feel upon coming together, it's going to be life-changing to the point where you're both going to release a lot of destructive patterns in your lives. And I feel closing out a cycle of toxicity in your lives. Or this is going to happen for you at the tail end of maybe you having done that work already. Um, This is definitely going to be very surprising, very unexpected. Maybe in the way it happens or how it happens or what happens here. Now, that being said, I feel because look, this looks very different to this, right? So it could be that you feel that your life is at peace when this person comes in and everything gets kind of flipped upside down in a way. But it has to do maybe with rigid belief systems here. And it feels a little bit chaotic because someone here is finding it hard to let go of those rigid belief systems. But this person does shake you up in a way or vice versa to the point where it feels a little bit, can feel a little bit chaotic. But it's because it's mirroring something, either you're mirroring this to them or they're mirroring this to you, that underneath that peaceful um existence it was very superficial in a way if the peace was there and so it's showing what was underlying that surface so the peace was at a surface but this is bringing up stuff from from underneath so that it can come out so i feel like subconscious stuff ends up coming out creating some chaos here and temporarily messing with the superficial piece so that you can really find peace on a deeper level and it's not just superficial. Wow, this is a deep, deep connection. And with the water being here, yeah, that kind of pointed into that direction. So it could bring up some, stir up some deep emotions as well. Um, yeah. And, and I'm not going to lie, there could be some... Um, explosive interactions in the beginning and it's just a matter of adjustments and seeing how willing you are to learn from each other and this person wants to teach you or you it's something about are you willing to go into the depths and learn in a deep way will you allow this person to teach you about healing as well or something to do with this 11th house. Yeah, I mean, look at those two together. They look like they're in flames. So again, this could be your twin flame. And twin flames do tend to um, bring out stuff from our subconscious. And again, that 11th house energy is Uranus energy. So very surprising, out of the blue, unexpected kind of um, situation or person or how this unfolds. Maybe you didn't expect it to be this person as well. It seems like you have a, a similar outlook on life and you you it's, it could start as a friendship as well. And, and, and so you don't see this coming in a way where it could develop into romance, but then it does. Um, because of maybe also your similar outlook on life or you maybe share um, the same ideas and it, kind of coming together, you may do something that is quite futuristic or you may start something together that ends up uh, positively affecting a lot of people. So I feel also you coming together 
will be very good for humanity in the sense that the energy that you create when you do come together creates a ripple effect around you and it it it, it heals it's very healing around you 11 could be a significant number aquarius could be a significant sign scorpio as well and we have leo so the lover from friends to lovers yeah absolutely um this person is very attractive. They could have Leo, Aquarius, Pisces, or Scorpio in one of their big um, astrological placements, meaning Sun, Moon, or Rising, Mars, Venus, Mercury, North Node, or maybe even Midheaven. And for some of you, maybe the South Node as well. This person is someone who is expressive, who is creative, who's very loving, very playful, very warm-hearted as well, very confident somewhat flirtatious, someone who glows, someone who bedazzles you. Like you look at this person, you're like, wow, you may like this person's hair. This person is quite, they may come across as extroverted. Um, definitely, um, they may like to dance. This person could be in the entertainment um industry or on a screen or like on social media possibly but it doesn't have to be their work may involve doing something online such as online sales possibly so these are i'm reading for a lot of people so just take what resonates here um or maybe you're the one who is on a screen on maybe youtube or something like that or on a stage but doesn't have to be this person may work in uh, events or parties or or they may just be doing, okay, this could also be someone who could have a business that is um, not a lot of people have this business and they are the leaders in their business or something, or they are always bringing something that is useful to a lot of people that doesn't exist. So they're kind of like innovative and pioneers in whatever field they're in. 12th house. You're going to have a lot of dreams with this person. Um... Or there could be like a surprising dream that you have about this person or vice versa. Um, definitely the subconscious coming out here in the 12th house, Piscean energy again. Um, this relationship is going to ask you to surrender a lot of your beliefs, a lot of preconceived ideas that you had or belief systems that were rigid and surrender to not having or not being able to control um, the situation or everything. This is really going to appeal to your sense of forgiveness and, and it's very healing, very spiritual. This connection, this relationship, this marriage is going to be for your spiritual development. Um, it's like you're going to unpack a lot with each other, a lot of baggage that you've been carrying. This person's going to help you unpack all of that and heal that. This is someone who is very compassionate um, very patient as well. And another thing here I'm picking up is maybe you've known this person before, but you didn't see this person in this way. And all of a sudden this veil comes off and you're like, oh, wait, you are my person. You've always been my person all this time. And it's going to be quite surprising because you didn't see this person in this way before. Yeah. This could be a past life connection or someone you've known for a very, very long time, either since when you were children or when you were very young. Um, yeah, there's something here about this person being familiar to you. And as I say that, we have the fourth house. So something to do with your roots could be similar. You could come from the same place. Again, maybe you've known this person since a very young age. Maybe you know this person through family. Um... This person could work in real estate or could have worked in real estate at some point. This is someone who takes good care of themselves. They look younger than their age. Um, this this person feels like home to you, very comforting. You will know just by... Okay, so here's what I'm, think, I'm seeing here. The way you will know you've fallen in love with this person or vice versa is that you fall asleep very easily around this person or this person makes you sleepy. I know quite weird but I do also see very good beautiful intense explosive passionate loving um, bedroom activity here between the two of you 
Uh, someone here could have Cancerian energy somewhere strongly in their chart. And here we have the mirror, of course. This person will be your walk-in mirror. This person is going to show you a lot about yourself, maybe stuff you don't want to see, don't want to acknowledge or deal with, and you may even um, enter a phase of denial. This person may trigger you in a way uh, because you may feel called out in some way, and there could be some conflict arising from that. And um, this person is going to make you conscious of a lot of stuff that was subconsciously buried um, for you. And even emotions that you may have pushed down, you may have try to push down the emotions you have for this person, but then they'll surface and bubble to the surface again. And it's all because this person is here to help you heal and manifest the life that you want. But for that, you need to look at yourself in, in your shadow, your light, all aspects of yourself. Because sometimes we don't want to look at our shadows because we see that as being maybe bad people or uh, we see that as... You know, we don't want to see, we don't want others to see it, but it's fine because we all have our shadows. So um, at first you may feel called out uh, and then you'll become comfortable with the fact of, of what you're seeing and it's giving you an opportunity to heal and to turn what 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 are perceived obstacles in your scope and, and, and mind work framework um, or frame of mind and see those um negative sides, if you will, or dark or whatever, as obstacles that you can turn into stepping stones. So I feel this is going to be a very empowering relationship in that sense. If you allow yourself, how teachable are you to learn from this person and to let this person teach you about yourself? Because this person is here to teach you about yourself and to teach you how to heal as well. What a beautiful, my gosh, such a beautiful eighth house yes look at that intimacy intimacy will be off the charts and it's not just physical intimacy right intimacy is not just about the body you know any anyone could have wild sex or whatever or good sex or whatever but to then feel that connection linger um and to be truly open vulnerable truthful trusting is a different story and so this is definitely an intense connection, and once you come together, you won't be able to let each other go. The energy between the two of you is just so strong, um, even from a distance. Um, you may develop an obsession for this person or vice versa, or you may become obsessed with each other. You're going to tell each other a lot of secrets, um, but this person is also going to be like a mystery to you. Scorpionic energy, again, here strongly. I see with all the 12th, 4th, and 8th house, I'm seeing a lot of water here. So a lot of emotions will be stirred up here. And now we have Cancerian energy again, the doula. This person is going to be very nurturing, and you're going to be very nurturing to this person. You may end up having a child. Again, doesn't have to be. Or you may end up starting a project together if the child does not apply. Um, it's a very comforting kind of connection, and you will feel very protective of each other. Uh, a lot of d deep feelings coming out. This person is someone who's definitely family oriented, okay? Ascendant outlook. Yeah, I mean, when you come together with this person, you may even review like your wardrobe. You may, I feel you're going to reinvent yourself either right before you come together with this person or this connection is going to have you wanting to reinvent yourself. Not by imposition, but because of what you see who you are at your truth. And it's going to have you step into your authenticity, which is a very, very high vibrational state, by the way. So you have joy, peace, love, or joy, love, peace, and then you have authenticity, which is even an even higher frequency, the closest frequency to God. And so um, this person is going to make a huge first impression on you. The impact is going to feel quite explosive when you meet or for the first time. Um, there's just something about this person's aura, this person's body image that you're going to love, and also their point of view on, on the world, their opinions, their ideas, their role, how they affect people around them. Their mission statement is very strong. And... You, you're going to love their attitude in general. You're just going to love their energy. Um, their energy is very vibrant, like these vibrant colors. They may also look good in really vibrant colors. 
This person is is, is like a life bringer and is, is also a force of nature. Um, it's a, like a life force breathing life into you almost and, and vice versa. You're going to do that for each other. This person could have Libra in their chart. You could have Libra in your chart. Um, this person could be quite idealistic in a sense or your ideal, okay? Um, definitely someone who's very cooperative, very socially aware. This could be a so social justice warrior. This is someone who um, has a good sense of style. They dress well. Um, they are very picky. They're not someone who just chooses any random person. They don't really give their energy out very easily to others. They don't really give themselves to others very easily. They also don't really invite a lot of people into their energy. And so it's like for them to choose you, even though this is someone who has a lot of options, by the way, but they choose you and only you. This is someone who is going to choose you and only you. This is your ride or die. This is, this is your match. And once you come together, you're going to choose each other and no one else is going to be able to threaten the connection because it's that strong. And I feel you're both kind of this way where you, this person's very graceful too um, and very fair, very balanced, but they can also have a wild side but when it's warranted. It's not just like, this is someone who knows when to be wild and they know when to... This person knows how to behave, let's put it that way. Um, they're very socially aware and they are someone who's very polite, very respectful of others as well. Heart with a key. And this is what's so interesting now that I'm seeing this. This person has the key to your heart, or you have the key to their heart, vice versa. Look at that. It's like that's a lock without a key, and there you found the key to your lock. So, or the lock to your key. Take that however it resonates. Pun intended. Anyway. Um, <laughs> welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, perfect. So, this person's going to make you open your heart, and vice versa. And you're going to welcome this person in because you, you're going to feel like you've met the one. Um, and when you get together, it's, it's, it's going to be perfect. I know perfect is one of those concepts that, you know, we can only grasp and we don't always um, achieve that. We, I mean, it's nearly, I'm not going to say the word, but it says perfect there. So it's going to feel perfect. So let's just take that in a, in a world where perfect exists, okay? Again, you know you can manifest the world that you want. So coming from that premise, this is a perfect relationship. This is your match. So, and, but very soon, this is gonna, something's going to happen very soon here where you're going to have to clearly decide what it is that you want so it comes to you sooner than later, actually. So the quicker, this is saying the quicker you decide what it is you want, the quicker it will manifest, basically. And soon there's a decision coming up and you need to make a clear decision. Even if it's just um, setting that intention in your mind and clearly deciding this is what I want, then everything picks up very fast with this person. Nine of Swords, yeah, I mean, you could be feeling a little bit anxious about the future of your romantic relationships in terms of who's going to be your spouse right now. This could be giving you some sleepless nights. Uh, or the beginning of this could create some anxiety for you because of how unexpected and chaotic it makes you feel and how much it brings up. So at the beginning, it may bring up a lot of, um, after that first initial meeting, that's going to feel so right. So your intuition is telling you about this person, whatever it stirs up for you in terms of what you need to heal is going to feel quite, it's going to bring you some anxiety. Okay. Okay and things to worry about, and you're going to worry. And it's all because what's coming out is that fear that is stirred inside you connected to your shadows. And it's coming out to make you conscious of what is there, and you're, you're not going to like what you see, or you're not going to like what you see in terms of what you need to heal. Okay, let's put it that way. And the work, it, it, the, the dedication to working on that, may um, throw you off a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Okay, yeah. Eight of Swords confirming this. Uh, so I feel when you meet this person, 
there's the sense where you feel stuck, okay? Could be stuck in um, a, a mindset. It could be stuck in life in general. It could be stuck um, in um, looking at what you have to heal and not wanting to see it. Look, her eyes are, are, are blindfolded. Um, and let me just see what's coming out here. Seven of Cups. Yeah, you may feel confused about what this is. Um, you may have a lot of dreams, fantasize about this person, but still a little bit confused or you don't want to see or you're in denial. See, her eyes are closed as well. So it's almost like at the beginning, you're, uh, you're kind of like asleep to what this is, really. But then you wake up and you feel all this passion and it's there and you can't deny it. But then this is new territory. This is something that's never happened to you before. This is unlike anyone you've ever met. It's a connection unlike any connection you've ever had. And so you're like, okay, so this is new territory. Where do I go from here? I'm burning in passion here. I'm feeling confused. I'm also fantasizing. Um, I think I've met the one, uh, but is it the one? Am I right? Are my fears getting in the way? Is my ego, is my mind, is that devil in the mind? Am I overthinking this? Allowing that devil in the mind to come in and talk to me too much? Um, so push and pull energy. Now, mind you, this could be going on with the other person or you or both of you at the same time. Seven of Pentacles. And so this takes quite a while to get off the ground because you want to make sure you plant some good seeds. You want to make sure you're doing everything right. You, you know this is going to require patience on someone's end or it's going to require some time because there's a lot of practical issues that need to be organized and put in place and so there's a waiting time here you may have to wait for this a little bit longer than you would have expected but it's also a long time coming and it is delayed gratification okay when the gratification comes in it will be massive massive page of pentacles again new territory what do i do where do i what about my material circumstances because i feel this is going to imply material changes in your life meaning possibly um, a change in a job or a change in a location or a change in material circumstances, right? Or a home or a city or a country. I don't know what this is, but it's like a new beginning for you and it, it may uh, involve your money, your health, your um, stable circumstances here. And you want to create stability here, but you're wondering, Okay, again, this is new territory. How do I go about this? By the way, you or this person could have kids or both of you. Two of Cups, wow. Two of Cups, but this is reciprocal. This is mutual. And it's, it's, a, it's a meeting of the souls. It's a match. It's a divine match. But again, you're in your head about this. You're like, how can this be? This makes no sense. This will make, at the beginning, this makes no uh, logical sense to you either due to material circumstances um, or because of your belief systems that have been crystallized. Um, and you maybe don't understand what this is, or maybe this person, okay, again, um, depending on who's more open spiritually and who is more closed off, who's more in touch with their emotions and who is not as in touch with their emotions. If you're someone who's very in touch with your emotions, this could be this person, okay? Three of Wands. Yeah, I mean, there could be a distance between the two of you. There's definitely a longing and a waiting period here. Through While someone is going through this confusion and fantasizing and dreaming, especially if you're at a distance, there's a lot of dreams and a lot of fantasizing here. Um, Eight of Pentacles. But you or this person will decide to invest and dedicate to this. But while someone is confused and not knowing which way to go, someone is definitely a hard worker and working on the material. But there's a clash between the material and the emotional here. Um, and someone's wondering, how do I do this? Waiting for their ships to come in, waiting for something to happen, maybe waiting for money um, or for circumstances to change. But Nine of Cups is your total wish fulfillment and you will get your wish fulfillment after Maybe a long period of waiting for this to unfold, okay? This is something that unfolds through um, a certain amount of time. But during that time, I feel with the Eight of Pentacles here again, which is the same one as that one, you will feel very loyal to each other, very dedicated. You're going to learn a lot about each other, get to know each other. And then all of a sudden, when you least expect it, the time comes where you're going to have to make a clear decision 
um, if you're going to stick to this, and you will, both. Um, and the relationship will be one where you are together every day, very dedicated to each other, possibly working on something together, making money together, um, building each other up, lifting each other up, uh, supporting each other, making each other feel... Um, turn. It's like this relationship, when you come together, you become your best selves, your highest versions of self through that dedicated effort toward each other. And it's going to be the best investment you've ever decided to make in your entire life. This is so beautiful. Okay, so last card we have a fiery, a fiery climax approaches. Someone here could have their moon in Aries, or especially full moon in Aries maybe. But what I see here is mid-October, or I'm seeing the first two weeks of October here could be quite significant here for closing a cycle. Maybe a cycle of waiting of time passing before this can happen. So something's going to come to a head where this decision has to be made and the decision will be after a long period of waiting and planting good seeds with each other and taking calculated risks and working hard, the opportunity comes to close a cycle and start a new one. And in that new cycle that you start, you will be very dedicated to each other and I see that if you're at a distance, definitely because this is your future spouse, you will be in the same place, in the same house, being together every day. And in that being together every day, it's going to feel like a dream come true. It's going to feel perfect once you come together again, okay? It's going to be the answer to your prayers, let's just put it that way. Beautiful reading, option one. I'm so glad I was able to bring you such a beautiful, beautiful um, message. Um, and of course, let me know how this resonates for you in the comment section. Thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. It helps the channel. It helps me bring you more. You know, us creators, we really need your help to know that, first of all, you like our work and that you want us to stay around so that you can see more. And by speaking of which, if you want to see more of my videos, hit that bell for notifications so every time I upload, you are notified. It was a pleasure to read for everyone today. Have a beautiful day. See you next time. Bye. Welcome, option two, those of you who chose this beautiful artwork, Healing Chaos. Okay, and Butterflies, Transformation. So I feel when you meet this person, you will be healing some form of chaos going on in your life caused by maybe your own spiritual standing. It could be that you're going through a, a, a spiritual transformation that feels chaotic. Um, and this person will be very healing to that chaos or will help you heal that chaos within. This person is also going to help you transform spiritually. But the way this starts could feel quite chaotic, like a whirlwind romance, okay? Something that comes left side out of the blue um, unexpectedly, and it's going to feel a little bit chaotic, but very healing at the same time, and definitely very spiritually expansive. I'm, I'm seeing air signs now, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius strongly here. This person is definitely going to trigger a transformation for you or it could just show up in a time where you're going through a spiritual transformation. Your ancestors are very involved in this in some way, people who have passed. So when dealing with this person, you may realize that you're seeing a lot of butterflies or something about spring. The springtime could be significant here as well. There's definitely something very new to you in the way that this happens or the kind of person this is. Definitely not something you're used to. But this is a case of powerful, energetic, true love. The number 28 could be relevant, the number 10, the number 1. This love is going to trigger an ending and a new beginning in your life. And it's going to feel a little bit chaotic. At first, you may not realize that this person is interested in you or this person may not realize that you're interested in them. You do like each other uh, physically very much. You like the way this person dresses. You like this person's hair. You like this person's sense of style. If this is a feminine energy, this feminine energy is very gracious. If you're the feminine energy, you're the gracious one. If this is a masculine energy, this is someone who is very well put together, polite, and respectful. This is true love, but... It's it's a kind of a, a love that is kind of a healing chaos, okay? So there could be some chaotic uh, elements to this. It may stir up some things. 
um, some dust, some dirt. Uh, not in each other, but around you. <laughs> okay, it's like you coming together, it, it will definitely stir things up and possibly even um, stir up some tra transformation in people around you as well. Thief, ooh, this person's going to steal your heart. This person's going to steal your heart. But they're going to be very respectful. The, the reason why this person wants to steal your heart is because they see so much value within you that cannot be stolen. Like, it cannot be mimicked. It cannot be stolen. It's just there and it's within you. And they see that and they want, that's why they want your heart. Because they see you as so precious, so special. And you have something that, that they lack, and they know that being with you, they will feel complete in that thing that they lack, because they, you have that. Now, there could be an age gap here. I, I'm seeing something else. There could be other people like meddling in this relationship, trying to either steal your person or create chaos for you guys in some way, for whatever reason. But again the light that you share and the light that you have in inside yourselves individually is something that cannot be mimicked so no one can really steal this away from you if that makes sense but there will be people who try to meddle with this but they won't really get their way because that, that it will just force them to transform in some way spiritually okay someone here could have strong gemini in their chart sun moon rising north node Midheaven, Mars, Venus, or Mercury. This is someone who's very curious, a good communicator, very versatile, versatile, flexible. Uh, they could be someone who is like um, they change the way they they look a lot throughout the years. They never look the same. They may uh, cut their hair, color their hair, um, change their style throughout the years. This person likes variety, they like to learn, they like to move around, they like, they're, they're quite restless and, but also very studious and, but sometimes, curiously enough, they may come across as, as a little bit superficial, but then you find out that they're not that superficial. Uh, There's someone very smart, very adaptive, they really, they have a nice voice or they sing or something like that, or just a nice voice. They're very, they're per very perceptive, they're, their mind is very is brilliant. They they're like have like, like this genius kind of there's something genius about this person. And your communication, I'm seeing these butterflies here again, will transform both of you. It's like you have a mental connection. These could be twin flames again. Twin flames came out in pile one as well, so you may want to go check that. There could be a message there for you because there are similar things in this reading. But it's like you're gonna meet your match. Um this person is very collaborative, very connected. This person connects the dots with it. They're, they have a fast mind. And um, you have a very good mental connection and good banter as well. It, this is definitely going to trigger a spiritual transformation for you. Uranus, yeah. Option one definitely has messages for you. This is going to be surprising, unexpected, the way this happens again. Um, you're going to brainstorm a lot with this person and have a lot of breakthroughs with this person. You're going to learn a lot from each other. I'm seeing Aquarius here, humanitarianism. So maybe you're both humanitarians uh, or you will become together. This is very unexpected, surprising. And it, it also offers you a freedom. You're going to have an epiphany because of this person. You're going to awaken spiritually. This person may be good with technology, into technology, um, innovative, original, and shows up like lightning in your life, possibly. You could meet at a social event or through relatives or through neighbors or through siblings. This is going to be a rupture with everything you've ever known, and it's really going to invite you to come to the edge. To the edge? <laughs> to the edge. So someone here could be an engineer. This person's going to push you to be free. And it's going to take a leap of faith. It's going to really test your courage. 
How courageous are you? How brave are you? I just heard, how brave are you? Fly on the wall. You're going to want to be a fly on the wall. You're going to want to know how this person's brain works and how and why. And it's going to strike you like lightning. No wonder it feels chaotic. It's going gonna, it's gonna to cause a revolution in your life almost. Oh my goodness. Ninth house. This person could be from a different culture or they could be at a distance, a long distance. Um, they could be a spiritual teacher or a university teacher. They could have had higher education. You could, vice versa. Um, even if this person didn't go to university, they, they come across as someone who did. This person is someone who has strong beliefs, strong faith. This person is definitely on a spiritual quest. You may need your passport to travel to see this person or to travel with this person. I feel you're going to travel a lot together. This person is definitely breaking you free from your neighborhood. from your Like if you are used to moving in a, a certain space, like a garden or a community or a city or a country, this person is really going to crack you out of your comfort zone almost and it, it, it's going to take a risk if you are someone who loves to learn your whatever you learn you're you're expanding like this person is going to open your mind in ways that you never felt were possible really truly you're going to learn a lot from this person you're going to teach each other a lot um possibly travel a lot. This person could be a journalist. That's just for some of you. Scorpio. Someone here could have strong Scorpio in their chart. Look, the exchange between the two of you is going to be quite visceral, quite animalistic almost in terms of the passion and the sexual exchange and the sensual exchange. Um, there could be a, some form of secrecy here for whatever reason. There's definitely a lot of lust here obsession with each other possibly um it but it's definitely it's a breakthrough and it's like a breaking free from a previous way of life it's very primal the way you feel toward each other it's like you can't if you get together you can't get your hands off each other and it's like it's going to be like glue then you can't take it off very healing as well. And it's going to bring out the animal inside you, the, your wild side almost. North node, this is destined. You either have a similar life purpose or complementary life purpose. Um, this is your destiny, but it definitely is going to break you free from your... Um, it's really going to force you out of a comfort zone because your comfort zone is going to become uncomfortable. And so you're going to have to choose between the two discomforts, either staying as you were and feeling uncomfortable there or going through the temporary discomfort of aligning with this destiny, of becoming who you're meant to be as well. This person is also helping you become who you've always meant to be. There will be challenges, obstacles, frustrations, but at the same time, you're going to feel very motivated it's like a challenge you're going to want to take on. You're going to feel the pressure here building up and you... There's going to be stalls and struggles throughout this. Possibly situations that are hurtful as well, but you're going to be able to work this out and reconcile. Even between the two of you, it's not always going to be like... Rosy, there's going to be times where you even unintentionally hurt each other and it's just because there's so many challenges and obstacles in the way of this and figuring this out is going to bring out some temporary discomfort but it's definitely a challenge that you are ready for and it's it's the kind of challenge also that makes life worthwhile almost okay that, that's what I'm seeing here fifth house definitely a lot of passion here you're going to wake up your inner child your inner child for each other like your inner child will wake up with this person 
By the way, this person will be very entertaining. You're going to find this person very entertaining. So if they could be in the entertainment in, um, uh, industry, but if not, you're going to, it's going to be very entertaining to be with this person. Like you're going to entertain each other. It's going to, there's going to be a lot of passion, a lot of pleasure, um, a lot of romance, a lot of fun going out together. Um, and this person is going to spark your creativity. So through these challenges, you're going to overcome these challenges, but it's, it's going to wake up if you were experiencing a creative block, this person is going to break you free from that creative block. And it's this person is going to make you like your relationship will make you both a lot more creative and childlike because it's coming from that childlike, lighthearted energy that is going to allow you to break free from all the seriousness and create something, which is in turn going to be also really good for business, whoever is in business here. But again, it's it's a risk that is worth taking here. I feel it's worth taking because this is destined. Um, you may go to an amusement park together. You may meet at an amusement park. That's for some of you. But ultimately, Hawaii could be significant here. Someone may like watermelon or watermelon may be significant. Um, yeah, you, you really like each other's sense of humor or you really have a lot of, like, you laugh a lot together. There's just this playfulness that, yeah... Maybe this person will put on a show for you or something. I don't know. 10th house. And look, power couple dynamics. Once you get together, once you get together, you're going to just um, be very successful together. Rise up that letter of success together. Um, power couple dynamic. What else can I say? Um, you're going to create a legacy. Some of you a family. I'm seeing children here. And you're going to have money for your family as well. You're going to build an empire together. And achieve a lot of things together. And you're going to be a well-respected couple. Even though in the beginning there may be people who don't want to see this come together. It's like the, coming together with this person. This person may have, or you, okay, may have Lakshmi energy. Meaning it's the kind of support that takes someone so far in life like so far and to be so respected in a way. So one of you has this doing this for the other. Really going to have your life expanding to new heights in, in every sense of the way about how you feel, how your level of success in life in general, your health, your um, the sensual and sexual exchange, the passion, the positivity, the learning, the expanding. I mean, this is just first house of self. So this person, you're going to love their body. Um, it's like they're welcoming you into an, a whole new world that you couldn't fathom before. That's what I'm seeing here. That's the energy I'm seeing here. And you're going to love this person's opinions and vice versa. You're going to have a match in terms of how you think. Um, this person is going to awaken you to being more self-aware as well and to asking yourself what your life philosophy actually is. Maybe this is something you've never really um, stopped to think about too much, but this person is really going to have you philosophizing about life. This person could be quite the philosopher. I'm seeing a Sagittarius, Gemini, Leo, Scorpio, Capricorn and Aries strongly in your chart or this person's chart could be Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, or Midheaven, okay? I like you. Yeah, you're going to like this person right off the bat. You're going to know this person likes you. Um, romance is blooming, fun, flirting, and wanting to date, okay? Yeah, you're going to want to date. There's a lot of fun and flirting between the two of you, absolutely confirmed by this fifth house energy here. Attraction, yeah. You're going to attract this person just by enjoying your life and you, you, you're you going to be very attracted toward how this person really goes about life. You're going to be very attracted toward how this person moves through life, what they're about, their opinions, what they say, how they think, how they express themselves. Um, and you're not going to see this coming. It's going to happen when you least expect it. The moon. 
but there's some element of keeping this a secret or secrecy for some reason. Um, this person is going to trigger some fears in you, maybe. Definitely deep emotions. I mean, if there weren't deep emotions being triggered, there couldn't be fears triggered because the fear means that there will be chaos and changes that would be necessary that you maybe fear. And it will trigger your fears that maybe you didn't even know that you had. And again, it's going to be a very big test to your courage. Seven of Swords. Yeah, it, this person, this interaction is going to light up and show you exactly where you've been sabotaging yourself. And you may try to sabotage this at the beginning because of fear. Five of Cups. There's a sadness here as well. Mm, there's a sadness here. It almost like makes you sad of how you sabotage. Or it's going to bring up some emotions that you didn't want to feel. Sadness. Loss. You didn't want to feel the sadness. Um, there could be a distance between the two of you. Why is this? Let's see more. Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. This person is definitely all about the truth and nothing but the truth. Very fair. They could be a little bit cutting with their words at times. Especially if they're sad. This is someone, if they're sad, they will not spare their words. Like, they will not show you they're sad. They will be quite... What's the word for it? Um, unforgiving with their words. Or they could just be very cold. Um, and like mask that sadness with coldness almost king of wands leo sagittarius aries but they will melt your heart i mean they will melt that that coldness and you will melt their heart or vice versa definitely very attractive person definitely someone who lights up your um passion and i feel this is someone who won't seem very inviting at first they may seem cold to you and detached, but you will learn that there is a lot of warmth un underneath that and possibly some sadness that they they mask that sadness with um, a very like stern, cold or just matter of fact, non BS front. Um, OK. But this person's going to melt your heart. You're going to melt this person's heart. Three of swords. Yeah. Okay, so again, um, there may be other people interfering in the beginning here, or there's a fear that other people could interfere, which is why you may keep this a secret. Um, this person may have a lot of fears regarding um, painful third-party situations, um, being maybe someone who was very hurt by someone in the past, and they hide that, they don't really show that in their demeanor, you would never see that because they always show themselves as someone who is good. <laughs> they're always good. Like you would never say what they're going through. You would never, you would never know what they go through. Eight of Wands. They may stop themselves from moving forward at times because of the past pain, even though they may feel a lot of passion underneath, but they don't really show that or behave that way uh, where they stop themselves a lot from showing that passion. Unless they feel comfortable and they can trust the situation, then they will move forward. I feel the exchange between the two of you will be very energetic and very powerful. And there will be a lot of communication, possibly a lot of trips and a lot of dates or a lot of passion fired back between the two of you. But in terms of the emotions, that will take a bit longer to be expressed. Four of Pentacles, yeah, this person, when you meet them or when you come together, will be holding on to a lot of sadness from the past due to hurt they, they experienced or betrayals or, again, there could be people interfering with this, but you're going to hold on to each other despite the sadness that this causes you. Hanged Man, yeah. This relationship is really going to have you look at life from a different perspective, and there could be a period of a pause before you come together, okay? Because someone is stuck 
either in their ways or in circumstances for some reason, but eventually you will come together. And when you do come together with the Hierophant, the Hierophant here, um, it will it will be forever. It will be a long-lasting, higher-level spiritual tie. Um, but this person, ooh, this person has a hard time opening up, or there will be a process, the slow process of opening up here before you come together. Because Four of Pentacles coming out twice, this is someone who's holding holding on to um, past struggles, past circumstances, past hurt and pain, and they have some some hard time opening up here. But when they do, then they will come in with a full commitment. Right now, your hard work is paying off, and there's a new beginning coming. I see the last week of December for you guys. The last two weeks of December will be significant for a new beginning here. And you will feel like your hard work for whatever you've been doing to expand and heal will pay off um, by the end of December, to the last two weeks. Okay, I hope this brought you the clarity that you seek. It was a pleasure to read for you guys. Thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. It helps the channel. It helps me bring you more. Us creators, we need um, your feedback, your uh, interaction here with the channel so that we know that we're appreciated. It, motiva it motivates us to bring you more. It lets the algorithm know that this is important to you. Um, and so it's deeply appreciated. And of course, go ahead and comment how this resonates with you. And if you'd like to see new videos from me being uploaded, and if you want to be notifi notified, just hit the bell for notifications. It was a pleasure to read for everyone today. Have a beautiful day and see you next time. Bye. Welcome. Those of you who chose leadership and this polar bear and that galaxy behind it, it looks like a giant polar bear moving through the ether. Leadership. Who's your future spouse? Who will you marry? Northern star, guiding light. You're already being guided toward this person or you were guided toward this person. This person can withstand very what's the word for it? Very harsh conditions in life or this person has. They've They've developed a thick, a thick skin or a thick layer of fur, protection of protection toward coldness. Life has been cold to this person, but they're this big, giant, warm bear. But if you cross them or their children, if they have children, they will have no mercy. <laughs> There's something quite ethereal and. There's like astral projection here. It's like you already have connected in the astral realm. This person is a leader. They have leader energy. They're quite pure hearted. They're very, their heart is very pure and their intentions as well. Sadness. Yeah, this person, I feel either when you meet this person, you will be sad or they will be sad or they, this is someone who's dealt with a lot of sadness in their life. Okay. But that with the number five here is changing or you will change that for them or they will change that for you. Shapeshifter. Yeah, this person knows how to hide their sadness well. They're not someone who will show you. Um, and they know how to move in social circumstances. They know how to mask their pain. Um, this person is very skillful at navigating through different levels of consciousness, hence all that celestial activity there. And despite whatever they've been through, they have this, they see the potential in everything. They can, they can compartmentalize things. They don't lock themselves into one box or despite whatever happened to them, they are still able to move through. This is a highly spiritual person 
who has had to adapt through life many, many times. And so they know when, what hat to use in what situation. They know what role to play, what mask to use. They know how to move through life. They're very smart at moving through life. And they definitely mask their sadness. Pisces. Someone here could have strong Pisces in their chart. This person is spiritual, mystic, possibly psychic. Very Have a strong imagination. They're very compassionate. They're very healing, very empathic. But they could tend to escapism. They could be a dreamer. They could be. They could fantasize a lot about a life that does not exist, which also in turn help them helps them manifest the life that they want. And at the same time, it helps them stay away from that sadness and that trauma that was caused to them in whatever way. A very dreamy, very alluring, very ethereal. Very spiritual, very emotional too. Venus. This person could have Libra or Taurus in their chart. This person is beautiful, harmonious, romantic, charming, sensual, very diplomatic, very magnetic. There's something about adoration. You're going to adore this person. This person is going to adore you. You're going. To, there's going to be a mutual adoration here, an attraction. This person is very tasteful, very stylish. They know how to create wealth or attract wealth. So this person could be a Lakshmi or you could be a Lakshmi. Aquarius. This person is innovative, definitely powerful personality. And definitely unexpected. Like, this person may look a certain way, like very graceful and very dreamy, but then they have this powerful side to them that only comes out sometimes. Again, that bare energy. Like, there's two sides to this person. One that is hidden and only comes out when it needs to come out. This person is not someone who will take advantage or abuse their power, but they will use it if they're being stepped on or if their power is being abused in some way. This is a humanitarian. They are definitely very unique and utopian. It's like a dream come true. This person is like your dream come true. But they could be very detached at times. They could either be very emotionally connected, but they also know how to detach if needed. Sagittarius. This person is adventurous. They like to travel. They could be at a distance from you. They could have strong Sagittarius, Aquarius, Taurus, Libra, or Pisces in an important placement in their chart, such as their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, or Midheaven. It may take a plane, a plane ride to come into connection with this person, like air travel, or this person may travel a lot. Um, this person is Despite whatever they've been through, they they can have this happy-go-lucky. It's almost like this person may feel sad, but they may deny their sadness at times. Or they may at times be very self-pitying, and then at other times they force themselves out of that. They spring out of it. Um, and then they go back to the sadness, and they spring out of it. That's what I'm seeing here. Um, they do make an effort to spring out of the sadness. They don't like to stay there for long. Because they know how it deters them and how it, it, it's, it keeps them from moving forward. And they don't like that. This person takes risks, okay? They, um, they have a wild side. Very independent, but also very generous. So they will be independent, but they, they won't step on other people's... Like, they will be self-sacrificial at times. They will sacrifice their independence, but they know how to be independent, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, this person has traveled a lot. They are almost always wanting to learn and expand their knowledge and expand also spiritually. This is someone who has a lot of knowledge, both in the spiritual realms as well as in the practical realms. 
This person likes to experiment with life and they're very lucky as well. But they're lucky. It's not just luck. It's because they, because of this escapism from harsh realities that they've had to develop and why they've become so such fantasists, if you can say that, is what also allows them to manifest luck into their life. Because they allow their imagination to create different worlds. And as, they, as these different worlds develop in their imagination, they end up developing in the material world, in this 3D reality, Mars action. This is someone who's not afraid to take action. They're very driven. They're very um, sometimes impulsive, but very. it's a very brave person. And this person is very strong. They know when to take action. They know when to hold back. They also don't like to hurt people and step on people's toes. So they will sacrifice taking that action at times. And at other times, they will just go for it. They're very fair. They're definitely a natural born leader and they have a high sex drive, um, a lot of willpower. This person may work out. Um, they may come across as someone who has a lot of energy. Um, this person is a little bit com competitive, okay? Um, definitely very fiery in the way they express themselves. Saturn, but also very wise. <laughs> wow, this is someone who's very well rounded. This is someone who is disciplined, structured, responsible. Exactly, because while they have all this fire in them, while they are very brave and independent, they can also restrain and refrain themselves from moving forward at times because they are they feel responsible for other people or they feel responsible as leaders. But this is also someone who's has as much a, a, of a practical side as they do of a dreamy side. So this is a very balanced person in the higher realms and the and the the material realm. This person has gone through a lot of difficulties. They have been gone through oppression. They have gone through a lot of restraints. They've grown a lot. They have matured a lot through these experiences. And they they're just very very wise and some of them beyond their years. Numinous. There's something very mysterious about this person that you can't quite put a finger on because you don't understand how this person can be so loving and such a good leader and so dreamy and so empathetic and healing and magical and at the same time so contained and so responsible but also so driven and so fiery. So this person may have like a, a very uh, balanced um, astrological chart, meaning they have all the elements there, earth, air, fire, and water very strongly. Mercury, this is a good communicator. They speak their mind, they say what they mean, and they mean what they say. They don't hold back. They're very assertive with what they say. Um, this, is, this person is psychic. And they've done a lot of work in letting go of addictions and codependencies and toxicity from their life. They do connect with other worlds. They have a strong intuition. They're connected to the cosmos. And they have a lot of access into mysterious information. There could be a connection here to Egypt. I'm seeing the pyramids there. This person may have a job in communication or travel or exercise or even psychic work. This person is very smart. They have a very acute perception and they connect the dots well. They are a good narrator, so they could be a writer. Um, they have like this very creative lens where they, this is someone who shows you life through a different lens almost. This person is an excellent at analyzing information, learning, teaching. This person could um, be a trader of sorts, like they could have a service or a product that they sell. Well, most of us is the case, right? But I mean something involving communication, psychic work, or exercise. Could have something to do with love or beauty also. Um, very sensual person I'm seeing here. And the way they express themselves is also very, very sensual. 
Neptune. Yeah, this person is very dreamy, or it's the person of your dreams almost. Um, very self-sacrificial. I did see that word, so there it is. Spiritual, escapism, ethereal, enchantment. Very enchanting, magical person. This person is all about unconditional universal love. A concept that not many people can grasp or explain. This person is a hard worker. I'm seeing a busy bee there. This person works very hard. And they're also the life of the, of the party as well. So this person has a very balanced um, lifestyle. They know when to rest. They know when to exercise. They know when to have fun. They know when to feel sad. They know how to get out of the sadness. They take... This person is a very strong person. And this person is very ready for... Um, a commitment cassette outdated thinking conditioning replaying events over in your head this person could have a connection to the 80s in some way shape or form they could have played cassettes or maybe you met this person in the 80s this person may have dealt with outdated thinking at some point but they get themselves out of it they do tend to okay so when they get into they they could yeah so this person could sometimes sometimes get very nostalgic about and 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 they replay events over in their head and when they do that they feel sad but then they get out of it they they find a way out of it and the outdated thinking here with religious factors, the only thing that could sometimes hold this person back are belief systems and their life, their love life may be influenced by their upbringing or in some way, shape or form and their spiritual path. And they really had to break free from a certain conditioning on their spiritual path that made them sad. It wasn't really working for them and they had to create a different reality. Now, it could be that between the two of you, there's a lot of dreaming going on, a lot of communication in the 5D, maybe also in the 3D. Um, there could be things that are very different about you or that bring you, keep you apart in the beginning and conditioning. And there will have to be a lot of changes for you guys to come together here. But when you do, it will definitely be something very powerful, very loving, very magical, very energetic, very strong and stable. And you're both very responsible with how you communicate is what I'm seeing here. Ace of Swords, a new beginning based on the truth. You're going to align with this person when you're both being genuine and authentic in your energy. You're both very like-minded because I'm seeing two egos here that who share one truth. And the truth is that you are it for each other. Okay, that's almost redundant. The star, this is your wish fulfillment. This person brings you hope, a new perspective on the world. And this, is, this person is like a, a dream come true, really, is what I'm seeing here. Aquarius energy coming through, the number 17 could be relevant, and the number 8. Nine of Wands, you're never going to give up on this, no matter how many battles you have to go through to be together. You're never going to give up on each other. And mind you, both of you, I feel, have been through a lot in life. You've both been through a lot of... You've been wounded many, many times. You've been through many battles in life. But you've healed from all these battles. And your energy toward each other is also very healing. This is a very strong bond between the two of you. There's definitely a lot of lust here, but there's a lot of holding back as well. Holding back. Or having to hold back. But after a period of holding back, someone comes in with an emotional offer. So there's lust and there's feelings here. Deep love and lust. So both things are true in this connection. A proposal, taking things to the next level after a time of waiting and holding back all that lust, then the floodgates will be open.
Six of Cups, this could be a, someone from a past life coming back or someone you've known when, since you were very, very young, since you were children or something like that. This could be even a reconciliation for some of you, the Fool, but this is going to take an act of bravery, a leap of faith. That may even feel foolish, but it feels right at the same time. It's because it's divinely guided by your intuition. Someone here could have Aries or Aquarius strongly in their chart. It's going to take a leap of faith. It's going to take courage. Six of Wands. It will be successful. It will be your victory after um, so many battles. It will be the one thing that would have made all the other battles worthwhile. The Empress. This will be everything you've ever wanted, or this person will be everything you've ever wanted, and it will make you feel like you're on top of the world, like you have it all. The support, the love, the, the circumstances in the end, regardless of what the past looked like. Libra energy, Taurus energy, Three of Pentacles, a stable, solid, long-lasting healthy foundation will be built here from the proposal onwards. I feel this is a situation where you move in together once there is a proposal. It's not like you move in together, then there's a proposal, then there's marriage. And it's not like you get married, then you move in together. It's like there's a proposal and then you move in together. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Energy, Strongly, Gemini, and Virgo. Capricorn. A strong, stable, sturdy, long-lasting, prosperous foundation. There could be a child coming out of this, or more than one child, even. But it's going to take an act of courage with that lion there. And once someone takes that leap of courage, then you will have everything together. Believe and succeed. That's the Six of Swords. So it's going to take, is this the Six of Swords or is it the Six? This is the Six of Wands, but I was going to say it's going to take some healing um, on a mental level. So, but also, but, but this is like, this will take faith. You will have to have faith in this. You will have to... Put aside logic at times to have faith in this because this could go against some sort of conditioning that you or this person has. But the more you believe in this, the more it will succeed. I see there's a time, uh, last two weeks of March, where the last week of March, where it will be a time to take action. There will be a new beginning around the last week of March here. Where I feel this outdated thinking and this conditioning and this sadness will be behind you. And that's when there's this, this um, I feel this proposal will come forward to create a solid, stable foundation here. Where someone stops taming this lion and someone has the courage to come forward with the proposal. And I feel that will happen around the last week of March. And that was your reading. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Let me know if this resonates for you in the comment section. Thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. It helps the channel. It helps us creators bring you more. And us creators, we really need your, um, what do you call it? Your interactions, so to speak. Uh, your feedback. Your um, engagement. That's the word. Because that lets us know that you like our work, that you need what we do here, and it lets YouTube know as well. So, having that being said, um, if you'd like to be notified of future uploads, hit the bell for notifications, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, have a beautiful day.